guys it is Thursday and I have not filmed the last two days on Tuesday we went to my sister's house because she just had her new baby and we wanted to meet him and hang out with her for the day um we left here after breakfast and it's an hour and 10 minute drive down to her house and then we stayed for lunch and dinner so um it was a long, it was a long day. I mean, it was totally fun and worth it, but it was a long day. I didn't get anything done here and I didn't want to film when we were down there. I wanted to spend time with my family. So Tuesday I didn't film yesterday. I thought about filming, but then the day was just, it was so busy. There was just a lot going on and I figured it'd be kind of a boring video. So today I'm going to film. If we're going to stay home all day minus like going for a walk to the park. Um, so I do have a few things planned that I want to get done. Um, the main one being I want to make some bread that we can use for sandwiches. The only thing is, is I even told myself last night, Michael, I need to grab my tripod out of your truck. And I forgot again, I'm super forgetful. So I forgot the tripod in there, which is going to be impossible to film me making the bread without a tripod. So I did order a tripod yesterday or the day before. I can't remember. Um, because like a month or so ago, maybe even longer. I can't remember. Michael said, "Hey, once you hit 300 fall or subscribers, why don't you get a new tripod? Because that old tripod is just a piece of junk." So I was like, "Okay." So I finally ordered one. I'm really excited because the one I have now is just kind of flimsy and it's it's short. It's only like maybe a foot tall. This one that I got is like four. It can go up to four feet tall. Um, so it'll be really nice for like overhead views for like when I'm cooking. So that should be here sometime today. Um, hopefully it comes before I want to make the bread. I might just wait for it to come to make the bread. That way I can show you guys easier. Um, and then the other stuff is just kind of like I want to get cleaned up. Um, I already have my sheets in the wash. I want to get the kids sheets in the wash. We are doing a movie night tonight and the kids are going to bring their mattresses out. So I want to make sure I vacuum really good. Because Fen's hair, our uh, Husky Malamute, his hair gets stuck in the shag carpet really, really bad. So I'm going to go through and vacuum that. And I need to brush him because he, his coat is changing from like summer coat to more of like a winter coat. And so it's starting to get a little clumpy. So I need to brush him out really good. Maybe I'll film that so I can show you guys just how much hair comes out. Um, and then I need to give the dogs their flea meds. It's just like a lot of little things that I want to get done before the weekend. Um normally on Thursdays I do go grocery shopping but I'm not going to do that today um just because I don't really need any food um I did that stock up and we're still kind of eating on the food that we prepped up and I just if I went it would be for a few things so I'm just not going to waste my time going we may go to the grocery store on Friday to get stuff for a special dinner I'm not really sure yet um yesterday was our wedding anniversary and so we didn't celebrate yesterday because we had a busy day and it was on a Wednesday so Michael said why don't we make something good to eat this weekend and celebrate with the kids so I don't know if we're gonna go out or if we're just gonna make something really good at home he had mentioned that burger sounded really good and then I'm always in charge of dessert because I'm the one with the sweet tooth but we may go grocery shopping then but just pick up a few things so I'm not really sure that's kind of my plan for the day. I do need to sit down and write out everything that I want to get done or else I'll forget. So I'll do that really quick and then I'll share with you guys. All right, so I just took a second and wrote everything out. I'll probably add a few things because I, I already feel like I'm forgetting something. So I want to make that bread. I need to brush Fen and put flea meds on both Fen and Harlow. I need to call Walgreens because I had ordered a poster print and I picked it up and I went to go hang it yesterday. And there was a whole bunch of like creases in it. So I need to call to see if they'll make me a new one because I'm not really happy with it. Um, I need to wash the bedding. I want to go on a walk and pick some berries. And then I also need to wash the kids' geese for jujitsu. Um, if I add anything else, I'll let you guys know. Oh, that. Does it look Whoa, look at that. Like a volcano. Okay, I'm peeling some 
eggs for pickled eggs for the kids. Now, if you have your own chickens, you know that it's really hard to peel fresh chicken eggs. These eggs are probably maybe at most a week old. So the trick I've learned that works best is cracking each end and then rolling it. Now it still can be tricky, but if you get under the membrane, sometimes it takes a minute, it comes off so easy. Okay, see it's just peeling. I'm trying to remember where, oh yeah, see, easy peasy. I'm trying to remember where I learned this trick. I think it may have been from Kent Rollins. Okay, so the egg is perfectly fine. Normally my eggs are really messed up and this normally works. Sometimes you still do get an egg that doesn't peel right, but this seems to work really good. Yeah, easy peasy. So for our pickled eggs today, I'm not making a homemade brine. I'm just using leftover pickle juice. Um, I did make my own like from scratch and they were too sweet. So we had an empty jar of pickles and the kids asked if I would make pickled eggs. There we go, put the lid on. I let these sit for at least a week before we dig into them, just so that they taste better. This is the pile of fur that I got off in. It actually wasn't that bad, but as you can see, a lot of it stuck to my pants. Um, the worst time for his shedding... What's wrong? You got something to say? No? Okay. So the worst time is when he goes from his winter coat to his summer coat. Then there's like actual like clumps of hair just floating around the house. But he looks a lot better. Not that much, but I, I'm sure he feels a lot better. All right, we are heading down to the park now. The kids are gonna ride their bikes and scooters and I'm gonna pick some blackberries, hopefully enough that I can make some blackberry jam. Woo, are you getting blackberries. To help me or to eat? What? To help me or to eat? Eat. To eat, okay, go ahead and pick. I haven't picked up there. There should be some that you can reach. Right here. Tall for me. I actually Here. get these holes. Here. Can I pick a few? Eat it. I'm picking a few. Oh, holes. you want a couple? Here. Yeah. Cover them. Then I'm going to say it was sissy. Okay, go take those over there. I've been picking for like 10 minutes and there are a lot of berries out. I'll definitely have enough to make some jam. Hopefully a double batch because I want to gift some. So oh, we're over here at the park still and this is the apple tree that I get my apples for making applesauce and the apples are ready. There's a whole bunch on the ground that are starting to rot already. So I mean there's a few blemishes but we're just gonna make applesauce. So we're making a little pile right here and hopefully we'll get enough to make a good, decent sized batch of applesauce. Are you helping me, bud? Yeah. Thank you. Oh, that one just fell. You see any in there? Yeah. Thank you. So now we're under the tree. It is a huge apple tree and it's just owned by the city park. So it's never pruned. So um, we're just under here and there's a lot that have already fallen. And if you go through, there's some that aren't, let's see if we'll focus. 
there's some that aren't in that bad of shape. So I'm just kind of going through it and picking the ones that just fell um, so that we have enough for applesauce. So we're all done picking apples. I didn't bring a bag because I wasn't expecting them to be ready. So I just am using Oakley's sweater and I tied the sleeves off. I'm really bad at guessing, but I would say this is probably 15 pounds of apples. I'll try to weigh them when we get home, but we're gonna head home now because I have this to carry and I have all of these blackberries. Harlow alerted me that somebody was at the door and I checked and the Amazon delivery guy was dropping off my package. I did order two things. Um, the first thing being the new tripod. Um, I'm really excited. I'll see if I can get this set up um, and figure it out. And if I can and I have enough time, I will make the bread recipe today. And then the other thing I ordered was just this book lamp. I have one now, but the back fell off and I have it taped so that the batteries don't fall out. And it just... It's not the best. So I ended up getting this one. This one had good reviews and there was a coupon on it. So it was normally $10 and then after the coupon it was like $7.99. So if it works out good, I'll let you guys know. Here is the recipe that I printed off for the homemade sandwich bread. I read it over really quick. It seems really easy. So I'm hoping that it's a good one and that it's a keeper. Um, so yeah, let me get everything set out and we'll put this bread together. All right, I got everything together. I have my mixing bowl to my stand mixer. And to this, we are going to add the flour, which is six cups of flour. I'm just using unbleached. Okay. And then you're gonna add, <clears throat> this is two tablespoons of instant yeast. And then we're gonna add the salt and sugar. It's two tablespoons sugar one tablespoon of salt and then we're going to mix this together okay okay so once it's all mixed then it says you're going to add two cups of very warm water And then two tablespoons of olive oil. Now this is a fourth cup right here. I'm only gonna add some of it and then save the rest for the rest of the recipe. Okay, and then I'm gonna put this in my stand mixer. The recipe calls for just mixing it by hand, but I have a stand mixer, so I'm gonna use it. And then it says to mix this for about four minutes. So it's mostly done mixing. There was a little flour left on the bottom of my stand mixer and so I'm just gonna mix that in. And then it says to form it into a smooth ball. Okay, it's in a ball. Now we're just gonna add it back to the stand mixer bowl and we're gonna let it sit covered for 15 minutes. All right, so I'm not gonna lie, I did get a little sidetracked. My mom came over and we got to talking and then I totally forgot about this. But I think it's fine because it said it needed to be doubled in size and I feel like it looks like it's doubled in size. So what we're gonna do is we are going to dump this out Maybe. Here we go. Okay. Then it says we're going to cut the dough in half. And then we're going to form it into loaves and place the loaves into standard size loaf pans. I hope this is the right size. This is what I use for like banana bread and stuff. So. I'm just gonna spray it. And then I don't know what it means by form it into a 
thing. So I'm just gonna put it in like this. This is what it looks like. And then it says you're gonna take some of the olive oil and drizzle it over the top. I'm actually gonna use, let's see here. I'm gonna use my brush. All right, so that's it. I'm going to fill my other bread pan and then I'm gonna get the oven ready. All right, so the last step for baking the bread is in your oven, you're gonna add a pan with really, really hot water on the lower rack. Then you're gonna add your two loaf pans on the middle rack. You're gonna shut the oven, turn it on to 400 and bake for 40 minutes. All right, the loaves of bread are done and cooled and ready to slice. I'm just gonna slice this smaller one right now and I'm gonna wrap this one up so it doesn't get stale. And as you can see, I didn't get them evenly, but it, it's fine, this one's a little bigger, it's fine. So I'm gonna slice this up. Hopefully I can get it sliced pretty thin. I do have um, like a bread knife, so we'll see. We'll see how thin I can get it sliced and hopefully it tastes good. Slicing up this bread. I'm trying to do it thin. It's, it's dense. Well, that's... Try. Yeah, you can try some. Yeah. Hold on. I don't think I'm gonna slice the whole loaf because I don't want it to go stale. That's what it looks that's like a, on the inside. Yes, I'm gonna try your bread. Dad's gonna try it. Okay. Yeah. Just wait. I'm gonna slice a few more slices. Oh, it's crispy. Yeah, it's got a nice crunch to it. Can I try this piece? Sure, take that. Mm, that's good. That's what it looks like. We're gonna taste it and see how it tastes. I don't know if I'd want it for a sandwich though. It seems kind of dense. You like it? Worst I've ever eaten, probably. The worst? Yeah. Bread? Yeah. Why? And jam. Because you made it. Oh, shut your mouth. You actually like it? Mm hmm. But it, you wouldn't eat it for a sandwich, right? No. Well, it doesn't take very long. Like, there's not a lot of rising time. It's like 15 minutes. It doesn't so really have time to break down the flour. I want another so, piece. Yeah. Oh, yeah, hold on. So if, like, we needed a quick bread for, like, dinner, it'd be good with, like, soup, just not sandwiches. Mm -hmm. I don't want any jam on it. I just want some butter. You just want butter on it? What? I don't want to drink the butter. Okay, I'll cut you a slice. <laughs> we're gonna start our movie just wanted to say thank you guys for watching and we'll see you on the next one